the, the most interesting thing about doing hip replacements is how you can do it, allowing patients to recover really quickly with minimal trauma. And that centers around the surgical approach to the hip. And this is so important, whether you can do the surgery without damaging the tissues. And that concept is broadly termed minimally invasive surgery. So you'll hear your surgeons talking about minimally invasive surgery. And this is opposed to the normal way hip replacements are done when muscles are usually detached from the muscle, from the, the bone. If you can do the surgery without detaching the muscles, then you're going to recover more quickly, usually with less pain and less blood loss. Commonly, that's either done through what's called an anterior approach. An anterior approach seeks to do the operation from the front of the hip. That can be quite difficult depending on the implant and also depending on the size and shape of the patient. And it is slightly variable in its outcome, but can give very good results. I found in my hands it was more consistent to use approach that I use, which I developed called the direct superior approach to the hip. And this allows me to get down to the hip without damaging the muscles. Essentially, I move the muscles aside. I detach one small muscle from the hip, which I can reattach later. And I can do the surgery very consistently uh, without damaging the muscles, allowing a very rapid rehabilitation. And I've now done more than two and a half thousand cases using that technique with a very low complication rate. So I'm very comfortable offering that to my patients because I know in my hands that's going to give them the results they want.